my channel. So today I am going to show you what is in my bag. It's been over a year since I last did a what's in my bag video and I thought it was high time I did an update just to show you everything new that I have and of course I'm carrying a different bag as well. I know that I really like watching these videos because I find that there's a certain voyeuristic pleasure to seeing what a woman carries inside her bag. So today I'm unpacking my bag for you guys and hopefully it'll be entertaining. And the bag that I'm currently using is by the brand Lavi and this is what it looks like. It's the kind of bag that when I saw it online, I sort of liked it. But when I really got it in person, I absolutely loved it. It's just, it's such a nice bag and I've gotten so many compliments every time I take it out. It's not leather, but it's a very like high quality leather looking fabric. I like that it's not leather, though I like leather because I cannot take leather outside in the monsoons, it'll get spoiled. But I can take this outside in the monsoons and I have. You will have probably seen this in my monsoon outfit of the day video. If not, do check that out because it features this bag. And it's just a kind of a very minimal bag. It's a backpack which I love but something really cool about it is that you can convert it to a shoulder bag as well. Uh, these buckles that are here at the back, just remove them from here and put them here. It becomes a pretty decent shoulder bag so there's versatility like that depending on what you're feeling like that day and uh, it has a lot of pockets as well. There are two main roomy pockets here, a small one at the back, there's another small one inside and this pocket is something nifty, it's like an easy access pocket so it doesn't fully shut, there's just this flap here and it opens, you can loosen these zips just to have it open out more and here there are also like two flaps. It's got all the pockets a girl could want for easy organization so when I want something I kind of know where I put it and I don't have to like just stick my hands in and dig. I can directly head for whatever I want. And looks wise I really like how the Lavi logo looks as well as the little gold accents. Very very classy and suddenly I'm into gold again nowadays ever since my new phone. I think it looks really pretty. So enough talking about the bag, as gorgeous as it is, I think it's time that I start opening the pockets up. So there I've moved a little closer, isn't this nice and cozy? So the first thing I'm going to open is this front pocket. So the first thing and possibly the most important thing in my bag on the whole is my phone. And I like keeping my phone here because I mostly carry it in my hand anyway. I don't leave it in my bag for a long period of time. But as I said, easy access. So this is my pretty new phone. It's the iPhone 6 Plus because I was using the iPhone 5 before this and I decided it was time to make the upgrade and I got this big ass phone which I am in love with. So it's the white and gold one and it is 128 GB because I have so much stuff that I kept running out of space on my 64 GB one. So I knew that I had to get 128 GB. I dropped it the other day for the first time and I was just like no. Nothing was wrong with it, thank God. Now the only other two things in here are just uh, basic makeup items. This is not all the makeup I have in my bag, but this is the stuff that I would need easiest access to. I have a powder compact in here. This is the Maybelline Clear Glow Powder Compact in Sand Beige. The second thing in here is the Miss Claire Soft Matte Lip Cream in shade number 8. I am wearing it right now, that's why it's in that pocket. And since I seem to be attacking the smaller pockets first, let's check what's in this small little back pocket. There are two things in here and the first, which goes so perfectly with the colour scheme of the bag, is these earphones from Swedish brand Studio. These are the Studio Clang, which I will show you right now. And guys, these, these are without a doubt like the prettiest and just best, all round best earphones that I've ever used in my life. Just look at how good they look. They're black and gold and they look so classy. They are unisex of course. They would just go with any outfit. Otherwise like earphones tend to look kind of cheap sometimes but this would even go with the best formal outfit. It's got controls here and the cable is this nice flat kind of cable. So it's just kind of looking a little bit like baby because of the way I shoved it in the case but um, the excellent thing about it is that it never ever tangles up. I'm not an audiophile so I can't really comment on like the sound quality that much but to my ears it sounds excellent. It's got great bass 
and also really nice noise isolation. When you put these in, it does such a good job of blocking everything around you that it is crazy. So I use these earphones with my phone to listen to music of course. But recently I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks from Audible and I have a blog post on my blog where I talk about audiobooks because I think they are like a newer or they're not as popular concept as physical books or Kindle ebooks but they are excellent and I just love them. These are gorgeous earphones and thankfully they are even available in India directly on Amazon.in and all so I will put links again. They are also available in white and gold and orange and gold I think but I don't trust myself to get white though it would have matched my phone excellently. I cannot keep white clean so this black one suits me perfectly. Did I mention this case that comes with the pair is actually leather and it looks lovely. The next thing in here is my card holder and it's from Letter Note Shop. I featured it in the Letter Note Shop haul. It's a really nice card holder. So this is my business card inside and I carry them in this. Now I'm going to dig into the larger pockets starting with the one in the front. This pocket kind of has all the things I need for insane Mumbai weather right now. So the first thing is an umbrella because you never know when it's going to rain. This is the handiest thing ever. It's a small little umbrella, seriously it's tiny but it opens up to be large and it's from Verumuda. It looks really classy and sleek, it fits in my bag really nicely. This is just the cover and this is what the umbrella looks like. Remember the Scouts and Guides motto, be prepared. Here I also have my pair of sunglasses, these are Ray-Bans. They're one of my older pairs, I think they must be about 4 or 5 years old but they're still pretty excellent. I don't wear them all the time but they are definitely my favourite pair of Ray-Bans bought for me by my mummy. This is how they look, huh, not bad, kind of goes with this outfit. These are one of the most classic designs by Ray-Ban, the Clubmaster frames. And I think the lens is like a dark green tint. I am overall kind of obsessed with Ray-Ban sunglasses. And these two things kind of go together. One is this notebook from Letter Note Shop and a pen. So I always like to have a notebook with me just to jot down stuff. And this is a nice little pocket size. The pages are very good quality and they are non-lined. So you can even scribble and draw on them nicely. And the color is very calming and it's very pretty okay and the next thing in here is my wallet from only I've got a little bow on here it's pretty bare right now the inside of my wallet because i was coming on this trip i decided to take out all of my loyalty cards and everything that i didn't need and i kept it at home and stupid stupid me i even kept my debit card at home lucky i'm with my parents so i can borrow money from them but otherwise that was like a really dumb move on my part. I don't usually carry much cash, I'm more of a card person but I have some money and the only other thing in here is my Jet Privilege membership card. Jet Airways, the airline, it's sort of a loyalty card for them, you can earn air miles and all that crap. We flew Jet to Goa, I just kind of carried the card with me. Okay and the next big thing in here in the same pocket is this little camera. This is my vlogging camera. This is the Sony RX100 Mark III and I have a vlog channel which I will link below in case you guys didn't know. I know a lot of you guys already follow me there so thanks. And I put up pretty regular vlogs like on vacation I haven't been vlogging much but I vlog a lot about my daily life in Mumbai and just uh, what my days look like, the events I go to and stuff like that. So this camera is really handy for that purpose because it looks really small but it just it's power packed with lots of features that could rival most DSLRs and I think it was more expensive than my DSLR so that's saying something. The flip up screen is very handy for vlogging because I have to be able to see my face when I'm vlogging otherwise I will just cut off parts of my face or head. Now the last little things in here are my keys. <laughs> this is the same bunch of keys as in last year's what's in my bag video with my favorite chain that I got maybe a decade ago <laughs> from Bacardi. Of course it cannot be my bag without some sweets or candies in it. So these are my favorite foxes. 
last year they were in those kind of wrap candy packaging but this year i actually have them in pillow packs so they stay fresher longer and this year all the fresh mints so they also freshen up your breath um eucalyptus raspberry citrus all all mints so flavored mints are the best so that pocket has been thoroughly emptied out and now we have one final pocket in here so in this pocket i just keep some of the miscellaneous beauty items and etc i don't need all the time but i may just need them the first thing in here is a comb and then i have this little jessica cuticle formula which is just a moisturizer for your cuticles and nails whenever i remember i try to put this on i used to be a nail biter and uh, i don't know if you see my nails they may look really short to you because i have stubby fingers and tiny nail beds but This is like a big deal for me. These are really long for me. And I'm just trying to take care of my nails because they were weak and I'm just strengthening them up. So applying anything on your cuticles and just massaging them once in a while uh, helps with that. And here is my precious power bank that I used to use so much uh, when I had my previous phone, but ever since I got the iPhone 6 Plus I really don't need this because the 6 Plus has an amazing battery like seriously but I just carry this for emergencies like in case I have forgotten to charge and I think I'll be using it a lot I carry this but when I had the iPhone 5 it was my savior because that phone didn't really have that great of a battery to start with and then with 2 years of like very heavy use uh, the battery was just it was kaput it would I probably die in 2 hours of heavy use and I needed to have this with me at all times and a lot of you guys asked me about this whether it's good yes it's absolutely good because it has a very high capacity uh the previous one that I had in last year's what's in my bag that was 8000 mAh which was pretty high but uh, that one died on me because it was old and I used it a lot and I'm really happy to see that power banks are a lot more affordable right now because they used to be really expensive but this one's affordable and it's 15000 mAh so it will charge up like even really big phones this button as always indicates how much charge you have the four little light comes on means it's fully charged this is the cable i'm using and bonus like most power banks this also has a torch feature which i'll show you now yeah am i doing this detective thing right now the last uh, pocket in here just has like more miscellaneous beauty stuff i'm going to pick it all out okay another thing is this extra sd card that i have and it's a huge sd card it's 64 gb and it's just in case i ever need an sd card i also need hair ties in my bag at all times uh, just in case especially if i'm commuting by rickshaw and all uh, my hair would become a complete mess by the time i reach my destination so that's where hair ties come in like most women i lose these all the time sometimes i feel like they are pretty much disposable like i'll wear it once and then then i don't know where it goes so i have a lot of them with me Okay, one of them fell, but yeah, four hair ties, and I got these from Forever Twenty One in a big pack, and they were rather cheap. Next thing in here is an emery board. It's kind of like a nail file, but it is less damaging. For my emergency hair rescue, I have this little sample that I got in my My Envy box of the Kerastase Elixir Ultimate. I haven't used it yet, which is why it's full. but this is nice to have with you if you have any flyaways or anything in your hair you can just tame your hair with this hand cream from natio again i got this in one of the beauty boxes if my hands start feeling dry i need hand cream pronto otherwise i will bug whoever with me my hands are so dry my hands are so dry touch my hands they are so dry and a perfume sample this particular one is mark jacobs daisy dream this is lovely I guess I kind of finally get why the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfumes are so popular. This smells nice. Now I have three lip products in here and these are basically what I've had on rotation since I've had my hair colored. Uh, this is the Lakme Absolute Matte Plum Spell, the L'Oreal Collection Star Range Pure Garnet which is Sonam Kapoor's color and finally the Rimmel Apocalypse Eclipse. So this is sort of a plum this is like a deep maroon and this is also like a deep plummy purplish color 
everything that complements my hair basically. Here is a little moisturizer from Ananda. It is the light moisturizer for oily skin. So this, I, I don't moisturize my face when I'm on the go much. But it doesn't hurt to have it just in case you might need it. The final beauty product in here is mascara. This is a little sample I got from Sephora and it's the really famous Lancome Hypnos Drama. Which it, I was expecting to be wowed by it but I was just like okay this, this is not bad but not so great. The Maybelline Colossal is still my favourite mascara. And you might be asking me Magali why are you carrying mascara in your bag? It's not like you need to reapply it. But I find this sometimes when I'm in a hurry and just do my makeup in a short period of time. I do everything else but I forget to put the mascara. I do the eyeliner also. So I carry this with me. Because if I realise that I haven't put mascara, if I remember, it's very easy to just apply when you're on the way to somewhere. So that is everything that I have in my bag. And you will think that since I'm away from home right now, I would not carry this much junk, but no. When I'm away from home, I need it all the more. I need to carry everything. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get updates about my latest videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.